Have you ever wondered what went on behind the scenes in one of the most epic battles for dominance ever, and that was the video game console wars of the late 1980s and early 1990s? Were you a Nintendo kid or a Sega kid? Console Wars is the gripping tale of underdog video game company Sega rising to dominance with its new groundbreaking console, the Sega Genesis. Interested? Stick around. Story The story of Console Wars is wonderfully written by author Blake J. Harris. You were immediately gripped by the life of the main character, Thomas Kalinske, and his career points him firmly in the direction of becoming one of the most iconic executives in the history of gaming. After several successes with Mattel, reinventing the Barbie and Hot Wheel lines of toys, and then largely being responsible for the creation of the He-Man franchise of toys, TV shows, and other merchandise, he was approached by Sega to breathe life into their struggling North American business. The rest is literally history, but some of the most intense and action-packed history you will ever read. Kalinske took the company from virtual obscurity in the American market in the late 80s to having earned over 55% of the video game market market share in just a few short years. Meanwhile, Nintendo was not taking the threat from Sega seriously, and waited way too late to create policies to compete directly with the onslaught of trendy 90s marketing and more modern business practices employed by Kalinske and his team. At its core, Console Wars is an underdog makes good story that will make you cheer while also serving as a cautionary tale about growing too quickly and losing touch with what made you special in the first place. Performance. Tom Kalinske had a secret. For years, he had managed to keep it to himself, covering it up with a combination of white lies, non-committal nods, and uneven smiles. But as he lay on a magnificent beach in sunny Maui with his loving wife and three energetic daughters, he could no longer keep it inside. He had to tell someone. The audiobook narration by Fred Berman was brisk and clean. Although I've never listened to one of his books before, he seems quite prolific, and his calm, clear voice speaks to years of experience behind a microphone. He manages to give a touch of character to the key players in the book without being overly cute with accents and voices, which I appreciate, as accents and voices done poorly can really distract from the presentation of a story. Berman has a very clean delivery that I appreciate. I was able to comfortably increase the listening speed of this book, which is a godsend because it is over 20 hours long. But don't get me wrong, this book never feels slow or boring. Quite the contrary, it was often so fast-paced and packed with information that more than once I skipped back a page or two to listen to the details more carefully. Conclusion. Whether you read the book or listen to the audiobook, if you are interested in the history of video games, you will find this tale absorbing and enthralling in every minute detail. The author spent years doing research and conducting multiple interviews with many of the key players in the book, and there is a level of authenticity that is not often matched in non-fiction books. There is so much descriptive detail in this book that I actually reached out to the author, Mr. Harris, and he was kind enough to speak to me on the phone. He explained his process and the huge amount of interviews that he did, and assured me that while there may be a little bit of embellishment in the background details, something like what a character was wearing on a particular day, he made every effort to paint the most authentic picture possible. For fans of Sega and Nintendo, this book is a fantastic way to understand the present landscape in the world of gaming, as many of the key ways of doing things which we now take for granted were born of the adversity of this battle between the video game titans. Unfortunately, we know that Nintendo won in the end, S Sega eventually choked on its success and faded back into obscurity, but for a few short years, Kalinske and his team turned the video game world upside down, and frankly, things will never be the same again. Simply put, if you are a fan of retro games, gaming history, or just a fun look back to pop culture in the 80s and early 90s, this book is for you. Thanks for watching this first review on Nerdcrave Audiobooks. If you'd like to hear more, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the like button if you would, it helps out a ton as I grow the channel. And by all means, let me know what books would you like me to listen to, read, and review for you. Thanks for watching. Stay classy.